Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to answer which is the better dividend stock to buy, Devon Energy or Chevron. To answer this question I'm going to look at their dividend yield, revenue, profit margin, long term debt and valuation then I'll come up with the answer. So let's get started with the dividend yield. Devon Energy at 5.55% compared to Chevron at 3.57%. But remember, Devon Energy has a variable dividend policy, meaning when its profits are better, the company will pay a higher dividend. When its profits are worse, the company will pay a lower dividend. Thankfully, in recent years, oil prices have been elevated and Devon's profits have been higher, and so it's been paying higher dividends although that's not likely to remain the case forever there's going to be variance and those ups and downs investors should be prepared for ups and downs in the dividend payment with Devon. Chevron plays a more consistent dividend a steadily rising dividend so if you want more consistency in your dividend yield Chevron would be the one to favor at the beginning at least. But let's look at more factors including annual year-over-year -year revenue growth. I highlighted the last year's oil prices have been elevated and so that's been good news for companies like Chevron and Devon Energy. Chevron's most recent year revenue increased by 51 percent. This isn't something you can expect from companies like Devon and Chevron for the long term. These are short-term bursts in revenue growth that are not long lasting. The next thing I wanted to look at is the operating profit margin and similar to revenue growth you're going to see variability in this metric because oil companies are primarily cyclical. They rise and fall based on the price of oil and you can see that here with their profit margins going up and down reflecting the ups and downs of oil prices. So you could see most recently Devon had a 37% operating profit margin compared to 15.91% for Chevron. Overall, Devon is more connected to changing oil prices. Its revenue and profit margin go up and down more violently than Chevron does with the change in oil prices. Next, I wanted to look at total long-term debt for each of these two companies compared to their free cash flow. So up top here, I have the total long-term debt and Chevron has $23 billion of long-term debt compared to just $6.4 billion for Devon Energy. But what's important to look at with long-term debt is not just the amount of long-term debt, but the amount in relation to the free cash flow the company generates. And with Chevron, you could see that it generates for the most part, more free cash flow than its long-term debt, at least in recent years, $27.6 billion in the most recently updated year of free cash flow, more than enough to pay off all of its long-term debt. That's not the case for Devon Energy, who's got $6.44 billion in long-term debt and only generated about $1 billion in free cash flow in its most recent trailing 12-month period. So in relation to its free cash flow, Chevron's debt appears to be more manageable. However, it's not like Devon Energy's debt is unmanageable. It's just in comparison, Chevron is in a better position comparing debt to free cash flow. Finally, I wanted to compare these two on valuation and Chevron is a little bit more expensive than Devon Energy trading at a forward price to earnings of 11.67 compared to Devon Energy trading at a forward price to earnings of 8.231. Now, if I had to pick one of these two dividend stocks to buy today, I would pick Chevron Corporation given that the company is less exposed to changing oil prices and the company's long-term debt to free cash flow more manageable and the scale of the company, I prefer large scale energy companies compared to smaller scale because I think there's benefits to larger scale in this industry. For all those reasons, I would choose Chevron as the better dividend stock to buy today. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.